place is a trail snare. Obviously it's set on the trail that's being used. You can tell whether it's being used. If you can still see the trail, chances are there's still animals using it. You can tell what sort of animals are using it by checking out the scat, the droppings along the trail. That'll give you some idea of what sort of animal you're looking for, how big it is, how small it is. This sort of trail stair here will take on fairly large animals and animals which are low to the ground, like wild boar. Wild boar will walk into this and, uh, and pick it up, and so will a roo. A roo's legs will go underneath this whereas a wild boar will just push into it with, its, with its, uh, its neck over the top of the rope. The bottom of the rope is about from my clenched fist to my elbow. Put the clenched fist on the ground and the bottom of the loop should be hanging around about the elbow. Over here it's just draped, just over a branch, that's all, very lightly. Over here the loop that goes around it to form the actual noose is just hanging. The rope itself goes over this bit of a stick that's sticking out from the tree here. And then I take one more turn around the tree. This will take the initial pull, okay? When it finally snags on the, uh, on the animal and it pulls tight and it feels that strain, this tree will bend and take some of the tension off the rope. But at the same time, I don't tie it here. Because if I was to tie it high up on a, on a tree, this one's probably not so bad because it's fairly thick. But if it was a smaller sapling and I was to tie it up high, permanently up there, then it would bend, okay, but it may also break there. And if it breaks there, well then, you've basically got a drag, which might be okay. You can probably still pick it up by following the trail but it's better if it doesn't get away. So what I do is I take a turn around here and then I take the rope down further to where it's stronger on the tree and I tie it off down there. So if this breaks up here, the rope is still attached down below. Okay? This is one of the best ways to catch food. Okay? If you're out in the wilderness, set yourself up a trap line Set up a few of these on some good trials. These will work for you day and night. Okay? As I came up here to set this up, I saw a couple of roos actually come along this path. Two of them. So had this been set, I would have caught them. The also, the ideal thing of this being the way it is, it doesn't matter which way the animal's coming from. It doesn't matter whether it's coming from up the trail or from down the trail. This will still get it, okay? This will still catch it. Just a word about dispatching. You have to be very careful when you're going to dispatch an animal that's caught in a snare. You need to do it fast, but you don't need to risk your life doing it, okay? So to be very careful when you're doing that. Carry your gun with you all the time and carry it loaded. Once you've fired your gun, the first thing you do is you load it again. Okay? You don't shoot it and then put the gun down and then set about dressing out the game. Reload the gun. When you're putting the gun aside, find somewhere that's secure. Okay? In the fork of a tree or a fork of a bush. If there's nothing around that you can do that with, lay it down on a log, okay, or down on the ground. I've got my gun here leaning on my pack, okay. The idea is that if you don't do this and you put it up against a tree and you just put the barrel in the middle of the tree, it may look secure, but if it does fall, there's a chance the gun could go off, okay. Don't take risks. You don't have to, okay. That gun could mean your life out in the wilderness. You need to look after it, and you need to look after you. As an extra precaution,
Use a hammer boot. Okay? This is the hammer. The hammer boot is a leather boot that fits over the hammer. So when the gun is at full cock and it's loaded and it's primed, okay, you put it back to half cock. But if that should still go off, you've heard the term going off half cocked. That's what can happen if the gun is to fall down and bang on something, okay? Or if you accidentally turn around, okay, and you hit the hammer. With a good lock, it shouldn't happen, but don't take chances. If you've got a hammer boot on there, if the cock does go off on half cock, the flint will hit the leather, okay, and it won't go off. It's just an extra precaution to take, and, uh, and it's a good one. It doesn't take long to make, okay, and it's a well worthwhile project. Put that back down on my pack. Just going to take a closer look at that snare rope. There it is, just looped over that twig, okay. We follow it down, there it is, an elbow height off the ground with my fist on the ground, okay, we follow it back up, there's the rope going across the top, okay, from that twig across to here. There's the loop that forms the snare, and it's just hanging on the rope, okay? And I've taken a turn around here. One turn around, and I take it down. And it's tied off lower down, where this is, uh, this is much thicker, much firmer. Now, if you wanted to make a spring snare, you could. But you'd have to tie a hook further down on this sapling. And you'd have to tie a hook into this part here somewhere. And this would have to be down there and hooked onto the other hook. So you've got two hooks hooking into one another. And when the animal pulls the snare, it pulls the hook off. And... Uh, and springs into the air because you've got the other end of this rope up high. But the same thing applies again. If you do that, you not only tie it up high to be a spring, but you must bring the tail end of the rope all the way down that tree and tie it off securely at the bottom. Because as I say, if it breaks, then you've lost your game. Okay? With any luck, the rope won't come off and it will act as a drag and it may snag further down the trail it may not, but either way you'll probably be able to follow an easy trail, but it's better if you don't have to do that. Okay, that's it. Uh, Till next time, I'll see you further down the trail. <laughs>